I was last here at this site 1982-83 something like that there was a small little stone in the ground a bunch of hippies hanging around the place I left an earring uh, a couple of joints and a couple of beers on the stone <laughs> and my thanking Jimi Hendrix yeah Place has changed slightly. Just slightly. Sorry about that, folks. I'll be out of your way in a minute. <laughs>
It's all you. <laughs> So you heard of this guy before? You know, I never saw him in You know what? Neither have I. I wonder how many people a day come here. Yeah. Even in the rain. <laughs> Probably fewer and fewer as we get older and older. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think probably more and more as we get older. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the people are going, Jimmy who? Yeah, well. Jimmy what? <laughs> my daughter, although my son was into the who big time, so indoors. <laughs> Um, no, he's 31 now. He's 31. <laughs> <laughs> Time is like that. Yeah, yeah, he, he had some taste in his music. Others he didn't, but he had some. Well, nice talking to y'all. Have a good one. They seem to have a history of playing in cemeteries. I got all kinds of cemetery footage from Lakeview and different places, but I guess they got one us up, up on us, huh, Cleveland? Well, you don't got Jimmy. Tight. You're a Triumph person, I take it? Oh, I love them. First bike I ever owned. Uh, well, it was actually my father's, but you know, I took possession of it at about 12, 13 years old. <laughs> and you still have it? Or? Oh, no. Oh. No. Actually, Chris, Chris got a piece of it. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't remember what piece he got. But now the bike ended up turning into pieces. Uh, I did it? I'm sorry. Got a lot more. Okay. That's 
Let's go see if the lock's on. Okay, and I'll work on this bugger. Now that yellow spray bottle is what's going to get the thing to slip. Okay. That's a nice bike. Yeah, it's unrestored, believe it or not. 1970. I just picked it up. You're kidding me. I got it from the original owner. Got too old to ride it anymore. And so he bought it uh, January of uh, 1970, when he, uh, five days after coming back from Vietnam in LA and bought that bike. Hmm. I found it on a Craigslist. Uh, he lives in Bellingham. The whole story is, if you're interested, is um, the day he took possession of it, paper plates out and all that. He's in Los Angeles, remember, five days after coming back from Vietnam. Looks over and here's a lady in a brand new 1970 Mach 1 Mustang. No plates on it either. They make eye contact in that meeting, got married, and same wife, right? There while I'm picking up the bike and all that. Both of them are teary-eyed and all that for getting rid of it. Once they started getting like their confidence in me, because I'm a crazy, you know, just out of Craigslist, the wife whispered something in his ear before I was ready to leave, and uh, he goes, yeah, go ahead and show them. They take me over to a different garage I didn't even know was there, they had acreage. Rolls up the door and there's that Mustang. Looked brand new. That 1970 Mustang that, you know, when they met. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I was shocked he sold it. He, they told, I, didn't know, I don't know the guy, but he told me that. He had a son, you know, growing up son and daughter, you'd think the son would have wanted it, but you, I don't know, you know, could have been a lawyer or something, who knows. Especially you know. unrestored. Yeah. It's amazing, and look at the condition of it. Yeah, he did take the gas tank and fenders off right after he bought it, he wanted black. And um, that's why, you know, they haven't seen sun or anything, he just put them back on about a year ago. That's why they're in that kind of shape. Huh. Boy, and you found it on Craigslist in Bellevue. Yeah. Um, you beat me to it. <laughs> what's funny is I've been looking since February for 1969. Yeah. For the simple reason, that's when my wife and I were married, and I thought it'd be cool to tell people I got a 69 Triumph. And um, I knew the 70 was a better year, but for some dumb reason, I thought this color you can get in 69 also. It ends up you can't. I learned that from Chris. So after months and months and all the different bikes I looked at and you know, bugging people on the 69, he tells me that. So I get excited, get off the phone, get right on the internet, and this was just posted four hours before. So I shot right up there. One of the first guys, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had it pre-sold to a guy in Oregon, a collector, verbally over the uh, phone. And I offered him a couple hundred more, to be honest with you. He said, right. sure, it's yours. Right. And I went and grabbed it. Right. I'm just, I, I was in the Triumphs in my younger days and went to Harley's and uh, I just wanted, you know, kind of going back in time. <laughs> it's a whole different machine. Yeah. Well, I love it for around town. Oh, yeah. It's a 900 pound Harley, you know. Yeah. No, they're great bikes. That's an interesting story. You're probably... He'll probably be in the documentary now. <laughs> what? What about me? I want to be in the documentary. What about uh, me, huh? What about me? Hey, should we badmouth where the uh, carburetors came from and the goof up? Nah, <laughs> karma. Had these carburetors for three weeks waiting for you know time to get in here to do this. And, uh, ends up they sent one wrong carburetor. I didn't know that. Dummy me never took them out of the box and check. Well, how were they wrong? Just different CFMs or? There's a right and a left. They sent me oh, two lefts. Oh. Uh -huh. I've got to stick the old one back on just so it's a runner. Right. And i got to deal with them on Monday, I guess. My fault for not pre-looking. Chris. Clutch pack. Are you just are you guys just doing this just 
to check the bike out or I mean did no 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 um, when I bought it, it he hardly ran it for the last 10 years I wasn't running right but the carburetors were goofed up so he wasn't getting full power out of it and once Chris tuned the carburetors and timing was way off too once it was running right took it up and down the block the clutch slipped so um replacement it. and man also while we were in there the uh you have the stator around the stator is over in the box. Yeah, stator and rotor. Yeah, in the box. Uh, right here on the left, right on the end, second drawer, second uh, shelf. Oh, I just want to show. We went in to uh, adjust the clutch and discovered this, which isn't supposed to look like that. A little plastic off of it. I wonder how the hell he did that. Uh, Chris seemed to think it might have got uh, overheated. Electrical short in it? Yeah. Got overheated? Yeah, it could be, yeah. That's pretty cool. So anyway, I, I got the bike that I didn't think he needed much work. But <laughs> it's, you know, it doesn't matter. How old is it? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's unrestored and beautiful. Yeah. That's your little trick on getting them out, huh? Yeah, this is a magnet, which is top, uh, the left center drawers on the top, second one down. Should be a magnet in there. Like this? That'll work. How long have you known Chris? Um, how long, Chris? About 35 years. Really? Yeah, I just, I used to live in Seattle. Met Chris 35 years ago. Um, I really don't even know how I met him or heard about him or found out about him. All I know is, you know, like I said, I was piecing out that Triumph that mm -hmm. I had. And I sold him some parts and I don't remember what they were. I don't know if it was frame or motor or what. Um, and then moved out of state about 20 years ago, 20, no, almost 30 years ago, no, wait a minute, yeah, I don't know, been over 25 years. Oh, um, excuse me, oh, there they are, Chris. Oh, the um, and the springs, too. I met him, uh, in 71, we were neighbors, two houses over. Oh, yeah? That's how we met. Well... And now my brother's actually in that house. Um. Well, I like I said, I moved out 20-some years ago. Kind of lost. I, I, I kept in contact with him for a, a year or two after I moved 